Hey everyone, good morning from Skara Summerland here in Sweden. This is an amusement park slash water park, kind of in the, just the, right in the middle of the country. I go by the legend, that's my wonderful girlfriend Molly. This video here, we're gonna show you everything there is to do here at Skara Summerland. The rides, the slides, and whatever else fun comes our way. And of course, we have to start the video here at the whole reason why I wanted to come to this park, and that is Trenin. It's could, very different. Yes, this is the only ever built SNS free fly coaster where you ride in like little toboggans on the wing of a large stork. A very interesting idea. The track can flip all the way around, and you since you're on the side, yeah, you go up and over. This turn coming up here at the end, definitely the most intense part of the ride. Yeah, you stay a lot. I really enjoyed this. It's the whole reason why I wanted to come here. We went about an hour out of our way to come to this park pretty much just for this ride, and for me it was definitely worth it. It was a very unique ride. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess don't know what else I could see why a lot of these didn't get built. You know, it is, it's not the greatest on capacity, and it requires a lot of labor. But it was really fun. It was. Like, I would love to see like a bigger one of these get built, like with some uh, like theming and then keyhole kind of things. Mm -hmm. But uh, no, this was a lot of fun, lived up the hype. Here's a better view of the train and how you sit sort of on a kind of saddle and next to your giant pelican guy. There's two load stations, obviously one on this side and one on the other side. A cool detail about the ride, all the bird trains have different faces. This roller coaster is called Spinner, which is the park's spinning wild mouse. Very and basic. Very, but... very, very basic, but it was fun. Um, yeah. A little bit of a different layout for that type of car. So if you're a coaster goon like I am, you know, yeah, a little bit different from your normal spinning wild mouse experience. I will say, um, capacity on any spinning wild mouse is not great, this one included. And let's talk a little bit about Jet Pass, which is their cut the line system. And it is very cheap. This line for the wild mouse looks pretty long. The Jet Pass was 30 Swedish crowns, which translates to about three American dollars to cut that line. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't know how the crowds were. I figured the crowds would be bad today. I bought it. It might be the best $6 I will spend on the entire trip. Ride itself, kind of fun. All right, so this one's a bummer for me. The craziest looking ride in the dry park. They're currently doing some maintenance on it. It is called Snake. It's a big, like, double spinning arm ride. So the little arm spins, and the big one with the snake on it also spins, and you ride in this carriage down here. Looks I, really, really wild. I don't think I would like it, but I do like how it's themed. Yeah. yeah. It has the tongue out of the snake. I also find it fascinating that the arms are curved. Yes. Yeah, I'm definitely bummed this one's out running. Uh, one of the more unique rides in the park. But at least I'm like they are working on it, so maybe it'll open later. A Trout Banana, or something like that, is the park's mine train roller coaster. It's a powered coaster, so depending on if you count roller coasters or not, you might count this one, you might not. It's actually a pretty long ride, pretty fun ride. There's an indoor scene that's that's kind of bizarre. There seems to be a troll in there who's trying to blow up the king troll with dynamite. Yeah. You go around three times, it's pretty fun. So I'm not sure how I pronounced it, but uh, the mine train is Groove Bonin. The queue for the Grab Bonin, which I'm guessing is like a mine train themed roller coaster, really well done. It's really dark in here though. Yes. But yeah. I love the, how it's themed. Cute. And it's shaded for the hot days. And there's a little no man. Yeah, yeah. Fun. The park's log flume is pretty unique. It's I named Newton. love it. I'm pretty sure you love it because what you're about to see right here, the boats are little whales. It's so adorable. And if you're curious how to find Newton the whale themed log flume, well, just follow this fantastic sign. He's a smiling whale. We've got some more rides. You can see some bumper cars here. And then look at the rocket tug in the background. Yeah, that's awesome. I really well themed. There's a happy octopus and water. Like, that looks great. Scar of Summerland does have a train. A pretty nice train. It and has it, two stops, right? Yeah, so it's a transportation ride. The park's got a very, very gentle swing ride. Right next to an adorable little kid's bridge. I will say the park is very pleasant. A lot, a lot prettier than I thought it would be. It is really pretty. And you have this really cute convoy, like little kids tractor trailer kind of ride. 
that goes, I guess, kind of through the woods. I can see that being very, very popular with kids. Oh, yes. Like, I've seen this kind of ride at other parks, but not, I guess, this big. You're very high up. There is a little family drop tower. Interesting how it's built like on a pedestal like that. Mm -hmm. And if I turn around, a Viking themed swinging ship, which makes a ton of sense in a Nordic country here. Oh, yeah. And the teacups are going round and round and round. The big deal here at Scar Summerland is the water park. As you can tell from everyone hanging out, this is definitely the popular side. It's different from the American water parks as you have no loungers. You have to bring your own. Yeah, we packs. saw everyone in line getting into the park with their own lounger. Yeah, and got, now it makes sense. Yeah, you got kind of dingy slides over here at Splashing Hill. Not to be confused with Splash Mountain. I guess Cobra is one of the newer water slides here. And it's got the big wave wall element where your, your tube comes in and then you go up the wall. Those are the kind of water slides I love. I think those are an absolute blast. Yeah, you you think my face is hilarious on them because I... They are. You're terrified. I am terrified. They're fun, though. There, there it goes. goes. All right, right there you get a mat racer slide ah! built down the hill. Looks like you got some other speed slides over here. And then I love this. Look at their drop pod slide as it goes into the, the, the hill. Now, these are terrifying. You go in that little tiny coffin. The door closes, it counts kind of three, two, one, and the floor drops out, and you get sent almost straight down, in the case of this one, into a tunnel, into a, a tunnel in a hill. Like that is just all kinds of terrifying. River one appears to be one of those older concrete style slides built into the mountain, very similar to what you find in like a Typhoon Lagoon. Mm -hmm. In another slide I'm guessing is pretty newer, this is Waka Waka, like, like what Fozzie Bear says. Waka Waka. Um, this has big saucer turns in it, and uh, this looks like it might have the most steps of anything here in the park. Yeah, to get up. But you can ride it up to three people toboggan style, so it does look pretty fun. And there's also a kind of a smaller size wave pool. This would be so much fun for me. Molly, you would, you would hate it. I would. A big zip line kind of thing. There's also some sort of a slide that goes into this cave, as well as what's like the longest entry to one of these toilet bowl slides I've ever seen. Like you start up there and then you go on a very, very gradual slope for what seems like about forever. And then you actually drop into the toilet bowl itself down there before you get shot out into probably seven feet of water. This is definitely one of the more interesting and unique things in this park. It is a wakeboarding or water skiing kind of simulator. So you're, you're, you get pulled by these ropes I think this person is about to go, and I'm, I'm pretty intrigued to watch this. <clears throat> All right, so I think it's gotta wait for this thing to catch on here. Yeah. And then you're gonna go. No, not that time. Maybe it's this one. Oh, he's pulling a thing. All he's right. He's on there, he's on there. There it goes. And there it goes. Uh, I've done like water skiing and it is insanely difficult. It is I imagine, really hard. I imagine wakeboarding would be just as bad. I would not be good at this. No, me either. To get from one section of the park to the other, you could take a wacky bridge. Over a little lake? Yeah, the wacky bridge is pretty steep. And if I know theme park wacky bridges, that means this park probably is jumpy. Yep, yep, yep there it is. And in the big lagoon, there are indeed fish. Lots of them. Yeah. Right in the middle of the park, there's what feels like an older playground. Um, some kind of interesting equipment here. There are also two little kids spinning rides, including this tubs of fun one that lifts up in the air and has this terrifying clown. Look at the rope swings. I love the rope swings. You gonna do it? No. Gotta think this will probably be the cutest ride in the park. Little flying turtles around a mushroom. He has like the aviator glasses, like goggles. Yeah. On his head, it's really cute. In the lagoon, there's a big kind of pirate ship. Now it's closed off, so it's not something that's currently in use, but. I'm guessing it used to be. Yeah. It used to be something. Upon further review, the rope swings are part of like a kid's obstacle course 
they start and finish. Located on a hill by the lake, check out that playground. The castle playground. You had some really big slides. Yeah. That is awesome. And if your kids aren't big enough for that one, there's a smaller one down here. Or you don't feel like walking up the hill. All right, and the things you probably won't see just hanging out in the middle of the field in America theme park, big old hamster wheels. I feel like you're going on it. Yeah, I'll probably go on those. And I, as I predicted, he's in the hamster wheel. He's really good. And he lost balance. <laughs> Fun? Um, yeah, terrifying a little bit. The park's got a go-kart track. Um, not many go-karts, looks like they have about four. And I'm not sure if the go-karts are included with your park ticket or they are not. Uh, based on the line, I would guess they are, but I'm, I don't know. Looks like they have a smaller kids go-kart track with some smaller carts on it. And then this attraction seems to be similar to something like, uh, very much like driving school mm -hmm. at the Legoland parks. Here you can see the third and final go-kart track. Um, this is definitely the biggest one, the Indy Kart course. Uh, I did do a little bit of digging. It looks like the adult go-karts will cost you about four American dollars to go on. You might have to fill out a waiver or something like that first. There is a QR code, or that might be a QR code to pay. I'm not sure, but it does cost a little bit extra money. Also, I say, if you want to go to the go-karts, get there early, because as you can see, they've only got about four or two in each one of them. And uh, that, those lines would be very slow. Look, look kind of fun though. This course looks like the best. It does. This corner of the park kind of has, a, has like a little bit of a summer camp vibe with like the go-karts and things like that. Look at this big, I think like it, trampoline pillowy thing. And you have the tire swing. Yeah, tire swing zip line. Interesting, fun. I'm kind of sad there's children over here else I would probably go hop on it. Even though the, the sign does clearly say 13 and under. That man's not 13. No, but I, his kid fell down. You couldn't really resist, could you? Nope. Yep. Oh, this is really fun. As a big dork, I love that they use the robot lawnmowers. Fun. Uh, right here on the pier next to Trenton is where I guess all the carp hang out. Uh, very reminiscent of like Indiana Beach. I'm guessing people probably feed them and such. This is um, neat. And this in the park, this is gonna be, Trenton's over here. Here with lots of hungry, hungry fish. The park does have a very pleasant, kind of tropical Main Street area with midway games and restaurants, snack stands, gift shop. Pretty nice. Inside this building, which I have determined to be the Swedish Wonder Works, <laughs> it looks like it is a uh, kind of like a little kid's car ride yeah, or a bumper car. Nice theme. Yeah. It's got like a whole village and stuff in the background. Uh, I'm not really sure what kind of cars these would be. Looks like it takes a lot of effort. It, it does. Like you pedal with your feet and then I guess your your arms tell whether you go left or right. Yeah, you like lean? I don't know, but it's a cute little village they built for it. Ah! Another pretty fun fountain over here. I love it. Any park that has little tiny baby ducks, I will turn the camera on for little tiny baby ducks. I feel like the airboat ride uh, might have been closed for some time. There's kind of a motor sticking out over there. One of these birds is not where it should be birding. But I like the pelicans. <laughs> they do have a little bit of merchandise for Star Summer. Yeah, the hat yeah. is actually pretty nice. And they've got hoodies and t-shirts. <laughs> Molly, you like this one. In front of the Midway game, with like the frog bog kind of thing, is? A frog. Yeah, big frog. I wonder if he used to like spit water. I think that's probably it. Maybe he used to be in the water park somewhere. Yeah. And then there's a little kid's plane ride. A different type of game here. He has to throw bouncy balls 
into the fish's mouth, and then the smaller ones open. And uh, he wants to get it in as many as he would play. You're not doing good. No, no, not at all. You only got 30 seconds, and I, you've made a uh, 40. You have 40 points. It's cool how it opens and closes. Yeah. Very different. Playing a, another different game here. It's a slingshot. And your goal, you have four balls, and your goal is to hit the cans. You got one. Do that again. Okay. Good shot. Good you got, shot. Yeah, yeah. You have one more ball. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was so close. You were. And one more game. He is throwing a ball into a hole, oh. trying to get a prize. Oh. Ooh, okay, he got one. Right, so you can choose either of these or the top of the second one right there. Might have to go for the blue dinosaur. Blue dinosaur. Should we do a blue dinosaur? Blue dinosaur. Let's do it. After playing three games, you finally won. We won this blue dinosaur. He's really cute. We did not win a giant thing of candy. No, but we don't think we can take that on the plane. No, imagine how much it that cost dinosaur. To bring at least we could take this on is, the plane. I love that they have games like this. It's so much fun, and then it brings me joy. Like seeing people walking around the park with giant things of candy. I'll stick to my tiny dinosaur. Dinosaur. And that'll do it for our time at Skara Summerland here in Sweden. I had fun. A very interesting park. Very, yeah. it feels very European. A lot of stuff you don't see like in America with the crazy playground equipment or the wacky games and the giant candy and all that kind of thing. I had fun. I like how there were so many different areas of the park. The ride section, the water park section, wacky playground section, kind of like um, motorsports section. It's a lot prettier and more themed than I thought it would be. Yeah, it was, it was very pleasant to, uh, to be here. I will say this park runs very limited hours. It's like the start of June to the end of August. So it's got a very, very, very short season. And with it having a short season, it books up fast. Yes. Oh, that's one thing, I, the biggest piece of advice I will tell you. If you're coming to the Sweden theme parks, book them in advance because they sell out. Scar Summerland sells out. Gronaloon sells out. Kalmarden sells out. Leesburg sells out. So definitely book your tickets in advance. We uh, tried to book tickets here yesterday. Yes, the, the park The park was sold out. So I, I, I was lucky enough that obviously we had the YouTube channel. We reached out to the, to the park's PR department and said like, hey, can you set us up with tickets? Which is something I never do it in the loop. I, I never ask for free tickets. I, it's just something I, I don't like doing. I'm gonna try to go pay and do that. So in the full disclosure, we did get free tickets from the park today. Thank you to the park for helping us out because we yes. would not. Um, the, we, the other, we had no idea I would tell my, my, uh, my other before. My other option was leave you in the car and buy an annual pass for like $90. Which I was fine with. I had uh, chips and soda. <laughs> Um, but yeah, overall, uh, I enjoyed Tranon. That's a really fun roller coaster. The it park is cool. Unique. Yeah, it, it's got a very different vibe, this park, and uh, I enjoyed it. I'm glad I got to see it and not yeah. sit in the car. <laughs> yes. All right. Uh, if you have any questions about Scar Summerland, let me know in the comments section below. And thank you very much for watching. I, I've got this blue dinosaur.